Hey, welcome back to Outbuilding. We're gonna to focus today on the second part of this build, which is the wood for the trailer. The aluminum was done in the link. You can follow this link here and go to the episode that shows the aluminum part of that, which went really well. And the wood goes together really well too. You'll be excited if you stick around at the end of this video to see how well this thing goes together. Um, it's gonna to be super nice to have and you'll see it put in use at the end of the video. So without any further explanation, let's get on to the wood part. All right, I cut up a couple of these boards and uh, learned a couple of good things. The, the stakes are really nice and snug, so that they're gonna, they're gonna work well. In fact, I'm gonna have to cut down a couple with some of the other boards that are a little bit thicker because the boards are a little different. When I set the rail on top, it looks like it lines up almost exactly with the in, inner wall. So I'll use this inner wall as sort of my dimension of the, of the, of the sides. And I'm also noticing that where the trailer fender is down here, um, I'm gonna to need to relieve this. It's about a quarter of an inch off. So I'm gonna to need to kind of cut away a little bit of the wall if I'm using this as a rail for the um, sidewall to accommodate this fender. But I think we can make it fit in there really snug and, and work really well. Well, yesterday I ran out of daylight and energy, so I took a break um, and back at it this morning. I've got the front piece of the side kind of mocked up here and just clamped just to kind of look at it. I've got a couple things I need to sort of address, and that's one of the things when I do these videos, I think you see a lot of the progress, but I edit out a lot of the, the muddling and thinking. But I want to share a couple of these things with you. So these, I'm basically building a TGI, TJI sort of truss wall. Um, I've got plywood in the middle, and then I've got the ends. I think on these on the tailgate and the front, it's going to work just fine with this top piece being cut down to about two and a half inches. I'm a little bit worried on these really long pieces that go all the way 12 feet long on the back of the trailer. I'm worried they're going to be a little bit wavy and, and wobbly. So I'll put this together with the, the front. The front and back will be fine. I'll look at the long pieces and see if I don't need to go to a wider piece up there or something stiffer because 12 feet is quite a ways to kind of keep everything straight, especially when the plywood in the middle is gonna be broken at one point because it's only eight feet long, the plywood sheets. Um, the end of this is gonna take the aluminum piece and I'll show you, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to recess the tabs in the, in the, for, the, for the aluminum piece to sit on the corner um, to, to key these things together. And then this piece here in the middle is where the, uh, the stake is gonna, gonna attach. That's, this, that's gonna drive down into the stake pocket. And so I'll need to relieve this, this piece, that thickness, it's about 7 16 I need to relieve that. So I'll do a little bit of um, math to figure out how many of these, I, th I think there's 10 stake pockets. So I'll get those all set up and I'll run through all those and cut those down, bevel these edges and clean them up and get this put together so that I can assemble. I'll build the front wall first completely, test it all out and then consider those sides. Um, so I'll get back to it today. Okay, with a stop block and a little bit of sort of mass production, I was able to kick out 10 of these. So we've got the, the 
cutaway here for the for the steak. So now the steak can can sit in there tight. So now I will I'll put a little chamfer on the edge of this, and then I'll round over the. I had to trim these down to get them to fit in the steak pockets. So I'll, I'll round over these edges and the and the tails of these so that they're all good to go. So another production step, and I'll um, crank out a bunch of these. So we've got um, rounded over the edges, got these chamfers in, and then I went ahead and did a deeper round over on the t on the and this stubby bit that will go down in this, the steak pocket just to make it a little bit easier to drop in there. I mocked it up here; they fit pretty well. So this is all ready to go. I'll chamfer the edge of this one, and then I got to work on a little router jig to drop these down lower. I, I need to I need to get this thing lower by the thickness of the plywood below. So. I'll have a, I'll, I'll make little insets to drop that in so they'll slide into slots there. And I'll wrap those out on the ends. All right, I made a little simple jig and one lunch and NFL game later, uh, the glue has dried. So basic idea with this is that I will um, take my um, metal and trace out a spot that I want to cut a little recess in. And then I can set this jig on that spot, line it up and clamp it, and then I'll use a following rat router bit to go in there and, and route that down. So I need to go ahead and cut the, for this is a test piece I'll try first, but I'll um, cut these out for both sides of the front of the trailer and see if I can get these tabs to, to line up and then I can go ahead and assemble things.
All right, so those worked out pretty well. They will drop in there and, and hold in tight. Um, I will just take a little bit off this corner, chamfer here, and I'll chamfer this corner as well, now that it's all kind of mocked up. And then I can go ahead and assemble it and glue it up. So we have about 20 degrees of temperature to work with today. It's cold out, but it's a really pretty day and a good day to be working again. Um, the front piece we got done yesterday, that looks great. And I can now use that to base the measurements for the sides. The sides are all pretty much cut out and ready to go. It'll follow suit with what we did on this one yesterday, but I need to accommodate where the bumper, or excuse me, where the fender fits in. And also there's a spare tire holder. So I'll cut the long rails now with this as a measurement base and start putting together these walls for the sides it'll follow suit the other way and then we'll kind of work on the corner make sure that that links together before i put it all together but it's coming together well and this one feels pretty good so far so get to work okay i got the boards cut down to length and i've got it placed in here so i can mark where the um where the fender's going where i'm going to need to take off it looks like about three sixteenths of an inch that I need to relieve on those boards. And then there's also a spot here where the, the uh, spare tire is and I'll mark that as well. And I'll do this on both sides and then I'll notch those a little bit so there's some space. All right, I got the sides of the, where the fender and the spare tire holder are kind of interfering. I think those, those shelled out with some hackery and uh, some things that I wouldn't recommend you try at home, but got the saw and router to um, clear those out. And then I had talked earlier about these sides, these long sides possibly being a little bit wobbly and wavy. I'm actually thinking this may work okay because the if you look at this, this is pretty bowed, this piece here, when I cut it, it you know, re relieves some stresses and it bent it. This one's a little bit straighter. But I'm gonna be gluing those and clamping those to pieces of plywood, which are really rigid and straight. And so I think they're gonna kind of counterbalance each other and end up with a pretty fl flat and straight thing. Now, I don't know if it'll be wobbly top, you know, side to side when it's in the trailer, but there's four stakes along there that hopefully will keep it stable. But I, I'm, we'll see when I glue this up and see if, it, if I can get it to straighten up and stabilize. But it may be that these things work together. So I'll glue it up now and um, each of the sides and, and clamp everything as I do it and shoot staples in it and see if I can't get it to, to straighten out and see what we get. A quick check of the aluminum corner show that it needs to be filed down a little bit to fit over the welds. So I'll get that prepped before we install it on the side. All right, got the sides all put together. They actually straightened up pretty well. I was able to clamp and sort of fight them. Um, we'll see how flat they are once we get them in, but got them all set up now. 
I went through and I'm um, just going to clean up all the little bits in the in the corners of these um, these pieces before they go in. Trim them up to fit. Get these all put in um, and put together. And then I'll probably put the stakes on out on the trailer, or at least I'll get them adjusted out there because there's not a lot of clearance and there's four of them and there'll be any sort of stack up error there. So I'll, I'll get it all sort of staged out there to put the actual stake legs on. But everything else is going to go together pretty well. I'll also cut one more pocket for the, the tab on this metal that sits in the front to engage the, the, uh, the sides in the corner and uh, start putting those things together. And then these will be, these are pretty close to being done. I've got one more little piece of arson crafts to do to put the, the little staging for building a rack up on top of this in, um, which I can do after I get the side put together. So we'll get working on that.
Okay, this last piece is gonna, it's gonna get into one of the welds here. So I'm gonna have to just relieve a little bit of the corner. Probably better to uh, grind that off before I screw it on and then, I'll, and then I'll attach it here and that'll finish up this, um, this entire side. And then I can start working on the, the other side. Okay, so the second side went in okay. Pretty much a clone of the first side, um, just symmetric. There was a little bit of, I had to do a little bit of um, sanding to kind of get it to slide in in front, but it's, it's actually holding up pretty well. And the sides look pretty straight. So in doing this, I, this was gonna be the, this is the stake for the, for the tailgate that's gonna drop in. And it's the one for the other side. I'm gonna redesign the tailgate just slightly now that I see how these others are going together. It won't, it won't functionally change much, but um, just seeing this now, I'll, I'll um, go back to the computer, sit down and just um, drop this back one more time and then um, go ahead and put it together. It should go back together pretty quickly. I had to run out and get some materials for that as well as um, some screws that I needed for the uh, stainless screws for the uh, aluminum pieces. But um, this is coming together really well. The, the, the two sides look really good. Like I said, they're pretty straight and uh, I'll get this tailgate put together and I should be, be able to wrap it up. Well, it was worth looking over everything on CAD. I was able to sort of simplify the back. Um, the biggest concern I had was that I'd have these raw or edges of plywood exposed that would be sliding up and down with the tailgate over and over again. So I made rails that will sit on the side uh, that are of the um, pressure treated lumber. And that should, that should work better against the sides. Um, so this is all cut out. I'm gonna assemble it pretty quick here. Um, it's pretty, it'll go forward. It'll go together really quickly. And that'll be the last panel for the trailer. And then I'll just test fit it and then put in the um, stake pocket so that I can drop it in. And then I got to run around and clean up some stuff with the router and, and um, smooth it off some edges, but you're getting pretty close. So go ahead and put this together.
So with these last finishing touches done, it wraps up the build of the trailer sidewalls. Um, they, were, they went together really well. I was um, kind of pleased with the way everything fit together. It's tight, but it'll wear in a little bit over time as I learned with the previous build. I think that the previous trailer we had helped kind of um, inform some of the ways that this went together. And it should, be, it should prove a lot of utility. The, the walls are pretty light, and so it'll help be able to carry more and less trailer, more, more cargo and less trailer. Um, it's been very helpful to have the notion that you are watching and it, I appreciate your, t your time spending and watching these videos because it makes me more conscious of needing to explain things and I think I do better work because I'm, I kind of have a sense of an audience and I slow down a little bit and prepare better. So the outcomes are better when I'm doing these videos I'm learning and it's a lot of fun to know that somebody's watching and hopefully enjoying this. Uh, there's a lot more projects to come down the way. This project, this, this trailer as you see here, as I start to put it to use, I'll learn how it goes and maybe I'll review that later on and talk about what worked or didn't work with that over time. Anyway, until then, I appreciate it. Please subscribe if you want to see more of these. And um, until next time, I'll be out building.